and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. My name is Sandra Eze and I am joined by my amazing co-host, yes. Lami Nasa. I haven't seen you guys since I the new year. Time. Okay, no, I, I saw her at the end of the year. Yeah, all right. Before I went to your village. Village Chronicles. I was yeah. following. I was going to ask you that. How yeah. is it? Oh, it was so much fun. I was so scared like, for you. you. Why? The security challenges. Oh, gosh. No, oh, Annie. come on. I think Don't that's... Don't worry, we um, live amongst animals. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's exaggerated, you know, the whole security issue. Are you serious? Goes pretty, I guess the Lord leads us. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd rather you say that. <laughs> okay, well... Anybody's experience with the traffic situation in Lagos today? Especially no. okay. Thankfully, Thank I didn't experience okay, it. Okay, I did experience it. And I would say that this, today's traffic, whatever, is a classic case of, you know when they say hold up, carry bag, designer bag, bag. Now wear like, <laughs> I know because I was talking. I, I, oh my I was talking for like two hours. Now you guys were on different ends of yeah. Oh yeah, I was coming sure. from the mainland. Yeah. I was coming from the island. Yeah. All the way from Palermo, everywhere was just truck. You know, at a point, I just stopped panicking. Like, okay, I mean, I'm wearing this whenever <laughs> we get there. Well, I'm glad we all arrived here yeah. today. Okay, so here is our quote for today. The more we choose to not talk about domestic violence, the more we shy away from the issue, the more we lose. That's a quote from Russell Wilson. What do we say, ladies? Do you yeah. go first? Sir, yeah, I will. Like, I think there's a culture of silence going on around the mix. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be further victimized. And I don't know why the society, you are not, it makes it look like you're at fault. Hmm. The victim is at fault. Mm -hmm. By so you rather you tell your parents that maybe in a classic case of you know partners or couples, mm -hmm. and they tell you to keep quiet about it. So I, I have a different view, and here, here's the thing: I think that people don't talk about it because nobody actually really listens, and it's until you're at the point of death that people start to take it seriously. You know, so I think that's you about know? what I said. Well, yeah, but isn't yeah, that so changing these days? Well, yeah. So with the advent maybe, of social media. Social media, maybe. And then mm -hmm. I think people are beginning to realize that they can actually get help. And mm -hmm. so they're speaking up more about it. But just mm -hmm. looking within our culture and just how your relation, mm -hmm. your, your relations will talk about it. Oh, don't worry. You know, it happens to just see the That's how it's a period of your relation. And you're about to say Farada. Hey, you know, Farada just yeah. just I think that um, this quote is so apt. Like, it's about mm -hmm. time we. And the good thing is, we've started talking about it. Yes. We have more agencies. Were start, um, we do a lot coming better. up and telling people, you speak up, we're yeah. in support of you, we're not judging Absolutely. you anymore. Right, so today we are talking about domestic violence. We will be speaking to experts on this topic, but first let us take a quick break and when we come back we'll see what we found in the news.